Hi, my name is Shashi and I'm based in Mumbai, India. This video is my fourth assignment for introduction to music production class in Coursera.org. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to use a compressor plugin in your DAW and I'm going to show that on Nuendo 4. In music production, the dynamic processors are used to manipulate the dynamic range of a recording. A dynamic processor can be a limiter, a compressor, an expander, or a gate. Dynamic range is difference between the loudest and the quietest amplitude of an instrument or a recording. What a compressor actually does is compressing the dynamic range of the recording by increasing the amplitude of the quietest part, which is the upward compressing, or decreasing the amplitude of the loudest part, which is downward compressing. Downward compressing is used more often in music production and this is the type of compressor that I am going to demonstrate today. For my demo, I have a single audio track over here on which I have recorded my flute. Let's listen to the sound. recording there are quite high notes uh, somewhere and the amplitude goes real high at some points so to open the gain plugin I click on this E icon which will open the plugin window left click on this first slot open compressor Let's understand the different sections on this window. First of all, uh, this graph over here is the compressor's envelope where the analysis takes part. The horizontal axis represents the input signal's amplitude and the vertical axis represents the output signal's amplitude. The left highlighted part shows the input meter and the right shows how much the signal is compressed in dBFS. This is the threshold value. This is the point where the compressor would start functioning. The ratio says how much reduction to happen. If it is 3 is to 1, that means if input is 3 decibels over threshold, then output is 1 decibel over threshold. The compressor is reducing the gain so we can add fixed amount of makeup gain to output signal to match the signal's original amplitude. Attack and release are very important parameters which shows how fast the compressor reacts when the sound crosses the threshold. Attack is how fast the sound is reduced and release is how fast it is again released. Therefore, lower the attack and release, faster the compressor works. At the ratio of 1 is to 1, the compressor actually does nothing. So I'll increase the ratio and I keep my threshold at around 20. Now if I play here you'll see that there is a reduction in the moments of the recording. Further decreasing the threshold you will again observe a reduction in the sound. So this is how you can use the compressor plugin to fine tune your recording and give a better output. Thank you for taking time for watching this video. I would love to know your views about it. Thank you.